This changed the game of hockey forever. Okay, maybe not just this move, but this player over his 14 year span in the NHL. Today we're talking about Pavel Datsuk. In 1988, the already dominant Detroit Red Wings would draft another generational steal, 171st overall in the sixth round. Although Dadsuk wouldn't play in the NHL until the 2001 season, his impact on the game would become undeniable in the following years. Dadsuk never put up the scoring numbers like other all-time greats, but the influence he created on both the offensive and defensive sides of hockey are responsible for the NHL we know and love today. Let's start with Dadsuk's obvious influence on hockey with his offensive creativity. Pavel Datsuk stood out when it came to creativity. In an era of hockey where offense came second to defensive play, he was deemed the magic man for his ability to make dazzling plays out of nothing. This is thanks to three components of his game that separated his skills from the rest. First was Datsuk's awareness. Datsuk had the uncanny ability to turn defenders inside out with his cutbacks, timing, and peripheral vision to see when defenders were approaching and move out of the way just at the right time. This also applied to when Dadsuk would attack on the rush. Nowadays, the fastest and most skilled attackers in the league use Dadsuk's technique of the inside-out or outside-in moves to beat defenders when they cross over. Second in Dadsuk's repertoire of offensive abilities was his actual puck skills. In 2012, the NHLPA asked its players to vote on 250 different categories of play. Dadsuk would be voted as the top player in six different categories, including smartest player and hardest to take the puck from. Dadsuk could dangle. His quick hands in combination with his vision to read opponents left multiple all-star players on highlight reel deeks. You guys have all seen these moves before, but it never gets old. The final offensive skill that made Dadsuk different from the rest was his ability to score on the backhand. While other all-time greats like Sidney Crosby have become well known for this skill, Dadsuk did it first. This was influential because it made Dadsuk a threat from anywhere on the ice. Even when he was facing away from the net, he could still score. Moving on to the aspect now of Dadsuk's game that made him so special, his defense. While Pavel Dadsuk is well recognized and awarded for his ability to play clean defense with three Selkies and four Lady Bings, he's truly one of the few players in his era of hockey that made defense look entertaining. Dadsuk combined his high hockey IQ with timing, stick taps, and body position to create highlight reel turnovers and defensive plays on a game-to-game -game basis. Dadsuk would constantly bait puck carriers into putting the puck in vulnerable positions. If you gave the puck away to Dadsuk, it's because he already knew what play you were going to make. This skill of taking the puck away from opponents often transitioned into offensive chances for Dadsuk and his teammates, making him that much more of a threat and a danger when on the ice. The final thing that made Dadsuk so well respected among his peers in the NHL was his clean physical play. The reason Dadsuk was voted hardest to take the puck away from is because on occasion, when someone did manage to get the puck from the magic man, he would simply just take a jersey number and be more aware next time he had possession of the puck. Although Pavel Datsuk stands at just 5'11", 189 pounds, he knows how to throw the body and especially reverse hits like this one. Pavel Datsuk is the reason star players like Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, Nikita Kucherov, and many others play with the style and level of skill that we see today. He paved the way for creativity as well as defensive genius in the world's most competitive hockey league. Although his statistical numbers don't quite live up to the same level as other all-stars in NHL history, Dadsuk's direct influence on today's NHL superstars is the reason why he will go down as a Hall of Famer. Even though he is not quite there yet, he changed the game of hockey forever. So let me know in the comments, when do you think Pavel Dadsuk will make it into the Hall of Fame?